Not many people may be aware, but resins are an important part of our everyday lives, not just when we are walking around the woods. Our modern world as we know it would be very different without epoxy resins. But how did it all start? Year 1936, Swiss Dr. Pierre Castin made the world's first liquid epoxy resin. From starting components, bisphenol A and epichlorohydrin. A little later, Dr. Sylvain Greenlee in the USA applied a similar principle to create the same liquid low molecular weight resin called Badge, the most widely used epoxy resin in the world. Uncured epoxies have different molecular weights which determine their potential use. They range from being a honey-like liquid to being a solid. Today, there are more than 50 types of epoxies in commercial use. And even when used in small quantities, epoxies can go a long, long way. In flooring, for example, epoxies provide high resistance to abrasion, tear and corrosion, vital in high traffic areas like hospitals or schools. They also reduce the weight of vehicle parts, resulting in fewer emissions and they prevent corrosion. Used as paint and coatings, epoxies are essential for the construction and shipbuilding and aviation sectors, as for some home appliances. In water and sewage pipes, epoxies are used to repair holes and cracks in existing pipes, and in smartphones and tablets, where epoxies are used as adhesives and insulators in the circuit boards. They are also popular to make tennis rackets, skis, golf equipment and hockey sticks. Lighter, stronger, more reliable and more resistant to fatigue. And last but not least, energy applications are where the largest number of epoxies are used in Europe. In windmills, solar panels and many other electronic devices. And this is just the beginning because the epoxy industry is already working on bringing tomorrow's technology to us and keep the world turning.